Hi again all, it's Dana. I'm going to be showing you today how to start off your cross stitch. So I'm going to be saying something that is slightly controversial for more experienced cross stitchers in that I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to anchor your thread, which is using a little knot in the end of the thread. Uh, more experienced cross stitchers usually don't do that just because it makes a little lump on your fabric and sometimes that can actually, the knot can be seen through the fabric depending on what thread you're using, what fabric you're using, things like that. But for now, to keep your life simple, especially if you're just learning, just put a little knot in the end. I've got one in the end of my floss, which is this lovely pink color that I'll be using. Uh, it's about a centimeter from the end. I don't know if you can see it there. But anyway, so that's what I would do for now is put a little knot in the end and that's how you're going to anchor the thread. Uh, as for this thread, I'm using 14 count Ada fabric, uh, which I talked about in the last video. I'm using two strands of uh, DMC floss. DMC is a, a manufacturer of the floss. They come in uh, six strands when you buy the floss in a skein and you just pull out two strands of it. I'm using two strands. You can also use one strand that's doubled for 14 count. For me it gives a uh, decent coverage. Uh, what you'll also be needing to do is make sure your thread isn't too long. The length that I've actually cut my thread, I don't know if you can see it here that easily, it's roughly the length between the tip of my finger and the end of my elbow. So that way your thread isn't going to be too long. If it's too long, it's going to get knotted at the back. It's going to make your life really unenjoyable because you're going to be spending most of your time flipping your piece over and trying to dig knots out, which is really not a relaxing way to be spending your evening. So I would suggest keeping your threads shorter at first and then uh, you can gradually get to some longer threads once you get a little bit more experienced. But for me, fingertips to the elbow is a really good way to keep your threads from getting too long on you and thus getting too many knots. So let's get started. So you've got your thread in the end, or your, sorry, your knot in the end of your thread. And what we're going to do is we're going to come from the back and you're just going to pull straight through one of the holes in the Ada fabric. So you're not going to be wanting to pull it too tight. You can see here, a little knot there, right there. Focus on that. There we go. So you're not going to be wanting to pull it too tight because otherwise it's actually going to pop right through the fabric. So I usually start at the bottom and go up and to the right to begin with. So I'm going to choose the hole one up and one over to the right from my beginning hole. Go in. So I'm just going to be doing three stitches for this demonstration. And then you're going to come out the hole that's directly underneath where you just went in. Sorry, keep bumping my video. Alright. And then you're going to be wanting to go straight back in. Up and to the right. It's important to keep going the same direction for your bottom stitches and your top stitches just because otherwise when you're finished your piece if you go in different directions for the top and the bottom stitch for example some of them on your top stitch are going left to right, some are right to left light's going to hit it in a really weird way and it's going to look like you made a mistake so it's easiest to learn from the beginning to always go one direction for your bottom stitch and then the opposite direction for your top stitch it doesn't matter which way you choose, I prefer doing uh, from bottom up to the right for my lower stitch and then bottom up to the left for my upper stitch so there's the beginning of our three cross stitches beautiful three little X's Literally, if you can count and you can make an X with thread, you can cross stitch. No matter how difficult the pattern may look, that's literally all there is to it. There's, of course, some details on how to make it look prettier and get your thread to lay nicer or whatever, but that's literally all it is. If you can count and make an X with thread, you're golden. So, we're coming out underneath from the bottom hole underneath where I just went in. And then we're going to go through... up and one over and up to the left this time. So there's our first little cross stitch, little X. And same thing, you go straight down into the hole that's underneath where your needle just went in. I don't know if you can see it there. And up and over to the left. And last stitch here, 
go straight down underneath where you just went in and out and then one up and over and hey presto there's your three cute little pink cross stitch X's so that's pretty much it for now that's literally the beginning of cross stitch that's all there is to cross stitch is different color X's and you just count on, depending on your pattern but yeah so I will see you guys next time and I'll be showing you some more tips and tricks about how to keep going with your cross stitch bye for now